Shout out to BioLite, uh, the IV in a bottle. When you drink one of these BioLites in 30 minutes or less, it's ex exactly like getting hydrated from a IV. It is also like drinking six sports drinks. Uh, the electrolytes in one of these equals six and a half sports drinks. If you are dehydrated and you need something to drink, go to BioLite. They have four different flavors, citrus, berry, tropical, and melon. They're all delicious. Make sure it's cold. It tastes nice and crisp on a hot day. Go to Amazon or drinkbiolite.com and use code REALTALK. That's code REALTALK for 10% off your first order. Again, go to Amazon or their website at drinkbiolite.com. What's up, family? Welcome back to Real Talk with your boy, Goaty. Uh, we had a great episode on. First of all, happy Thanksgiving Eve to everyone that is watching. We hope you're spending it well with your family and friends. Uh, we got real interesting with the specialists from the University of Georgia. We got snappers, punters, kickers. Uh, our punter, Brett Thorson, is from Australia. So we talked about his background, love his accent, talk about his favorite foods from Thanksgiving, uh, and his unique 75-yard punt that landed at the one yard line. Uh, then we also talked to Jack Podlesny, who is our kicker and his, uh, what it was like for him, the, the Cincinnati game winning field goal a couple years ago. For our two talk this week, it is only fitting that we do Thanksgiving foods since this week is Thanksgiving week. We had some absolutely hot takes on there. It was absolutely awesome. So you guys tune in for that. And lastly, I'm super thankful for all of you guys. Super thankful for our team, Tate, Patrick, Hibbs, Ballard, Bobby, all the boys. Thank you guys for tuning in each week and the fire department. Appreciate it. So thank you for you guys. Thank you for tuning in each week. Thank you for being loyal. If you guys uh, don't mind, go hit us up on our socials. We're on everything you can imagine at Real Talk WRT. Go hit up the YouTube, especially and hit subscribe and like and comment and do it for the boys. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Now that coach up in Athens got them boys playing pretty good ball. Anyway, I love you, son. Go dogs. I get to sit next to the paint. You don't want the camel on? Oh, you took the pants off too? And the boots? Dang it. He's got the blue pants on, though. Two for him. No, he's dead. The first time I've ever seen Teddy not wearing the slides. Right? Well, it's because he went on today. It was colder than shit, let me tell you. Oh, I can Yeah, so walk us through your morning, Tate. What did this morning look like? So I woke up about 5.45 to Miles snoring like a freight train. <laughs> after he told We're me just he didn't sleep. snore. Uh, so this guy we know, we go down on his land, and he got a cabin, which isn't a cabin. It's like- Some wood. Shack. Shack. Oh, no, no, no. Now it's, house. Oh, it's like so a mansion. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, He's got a living room, which ceilings are probably a little bit higher than these. Big old fireplace, big TV, recliners, couches, whatever, deer, turkey mounted everywhere. And then in the bottom, he's got two king beds. And then you go up the stairs and there's like two two bedrooms on each side. Do you mile share a bed? No. Nah. <laughs> but there's like six, there's like three bunk beds in each. Okay. And me and Miles slept up there and then woke up. Got dressed, got on the Polaris, rode out to the stand. Me and Dan sat there, saw a doe, let it walk because it's the rut. And we're thinking, for those November. who don't know what the rut is, it's where deer like to have sex. Yeah, um, so if you put any food out, they ain't getting the food. They're chasing tail. That's all they're Yeah, doing. yeah. That's why there's so many dead on the highway because they think with their genitals and not their heads. So. Yeah, that's just like humans. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's just, <laughs> just like Tate. Yeah. Fair statement. Not like me, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah, I let it walk thinking something was behind it. There was nothing behind it. And we didn't see a thing after. Then I went and sighted my new rifle. Micah killed a doe. I heard. He, he, gut -shot wow. it. he gut shotted the shit out of a doe. <laughs> it smelled I bet horrible. it smelled horrible. It was awful. Who all went? You? Me. It was who all stayed? Me, Dan, Cade. Weston, Miles, and Micah. Okay. He's got like 1,500 acres down there. Damn. Who does? If Where was more, it? Down there, Lake O'Connor. Am I the only one hearing the, the no, steps? No, I haven't made a comment about it, too, which is funny. Topper's on top. That's going to be a recurring segment of Topper's. Yeah, stay tuned to talk about it. I think I have a friend that lives right above this, actually. Really? Yeah. 
I love stopping. Does he wear heels? <laughs> it's a girl. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, boys. We're going to kick our segment off, or our episode off, with the segment that we love most, and it is the fist pump feature of the week. Cue the graphic. Gotta love it. A little tiger pump. Or right, where's the uh, putter? We have the putter. We have the putter. Can we do like a reverse fist pump? Because I've had a lot of those this week. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. Yeah. To start off the hunting trip, driving down there last night, get pulled over going 18 over. Oh, wow. I got caught in a speed trap. Dropped from a 45 to a 30. Ooh. I was going 48. Yeah. So you cop was a, cop was a dick. Yeah, I got a ticket. Yeah. He came up and said, driver's license. Hand it to him. Like, I had Mike in the back. Like, we had, like, four guns in the truck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, you can give him a little, like, you don't know who I am. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm not winning you a natty. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he, he comes back, he hands to me, he's like, you want me to run a radar check? I'm like, what is that going to help? He's like, good point. Just walk back to his truck. <laughs> then came back, gave me a ticket. I was like, you're in your truck? Yeah. Golly. It's not a fist pump of the week. No, Man, that's, that's, that's a bad, that's a bad start. Reverse pump. Yeah. Reverse pump. That, reverse that pump. sounds terrible. That's a horrible um. name. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, that's not good. Reverse pump. <laughs> we love a good reverse pump. I don't know if anyone wants to be a part of a reverse pump. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Woo, all right. Uh, Mo, kick us off with your fist pump feature of the week. Well, uh, I mentioned it earlier, and I parked. Well, it was an 8 a.m., so I have an 8 a.m. that's only Tuesday, Thursday. And I parked. I usually have this spot that was cleared to park in, but it's like this old state state spot. But So I drive by, and I see a cop car that's parked right next to it. So I don't park there, move on, park behind a building. And I've gotten a ticket behind this building before, but after I walked out, no ticket. Mm. Great start of the day. Mm. Give us a little. Boom. Bang. Reverse <laughs> pump. That was, <laughs> that was a reverse pump. All right, Pod, give us your uh, your fist pump each of the week. Fist pumps be like consistent, like you know, like they're guaranteed to happen each Absolutely. week. Absolutely, your favorite part of the week. All right, then mine's definitely going to the stadium on Tuesdays. After uh, we kick, we punt, we snap, we get to go back in the locker room. Jonathan Washburn has always got these two to three jokes for us. And, probably, and they you know, slap they're every like time. They're like X-rated jokes, but man, they are the best. They every serious? Serious? Every, every yeah, single like, week. And they're like they, new. They like slap. Each fresh content new. every week. I scared the shat out of him today. We were doing... Uh, the what? I was on the shat. <laughs> <laughs> I was on... This is a family show, Tate. Oh, um, <laughs> I was on scout punt return and uh, he was running down the field. And I just ran up behind him and went, ha! <laughs> freaked out. Like, freaked out. It was hilarious. Uh, my fist pump feature of the week. Um, I don't know. I'm going to, you guys keep going. I got to think about it. Uh, uh, mine's probably, uh, we take our coffee very seriously in Melbourne. Like, your coffee and when like we say we have an iced coffee it's can like can we get captions at the bottom of yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah sorry um where are you I'll, from where are you from again australia okay. um so i'll try and put it in as many as many american terms as possible um but when we have an iced coffee we put like we don't have half and half or sweeteners or anything like that we put in ice cream like a scoop of ice cream mm. that sounds phenomenal um anyway yeah I, i've been struggling to find it and i have found a spot here um that i would purchase like a scoop of ice cream to put in it anyway then they stopped stocking ice cream anyway i've only just found another spot mm. um that has ice cream to get on the iced coffee so that was my little <laughs> give us a little fist bump mm. Mm. for the week hey, i love it <clears throat> that's big time i've never heard of that ice cream and the coffee yeah. yeah can't be right. healthy but something. yeah it's not crap it my uh fist pump of the week is when you said this is going to be amazing it's, 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 it's profound <laughs> <laughs> when you get in what a word from practice it's dark outside it's chilly because we're there get, all day you get done with your homework cozy you get in your pajamas you wear pajamas <laughs> just, no, but it's, a, it's, it's a family show and you just get under a warm cozy blanket after like a long day of work and you're just nice and chill and that, i say that because i haven't slept in 36 hours oh that's right i'm thinking about so it so you're excited about it for tonight why haven't you slept in 36 hours good question uh, I, I, I took it off your roots probably not too happy i took it off i 
<laughs> yeah, that you, deal. He's procrastinating. Slow. I worked on a project that was due today. I started at 11 p.m. last night. How much caffeine and Adderall did this take? <laughs> I drank uh, two of the 300 milligram monsters last night. That yeah, was good. It's about me every day. <laughs> um, <laughs> cranked it out, finished at 7 a.m. Started my day. Love that for you. Tater. Oh, good God. It's been a rough week. Um, <laughs> you all right? No. <laughs> um, this I might guess, turn into a counseling session. What? This might turn into a counseling no, session. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Kind of. Um, mine would probably be able to actually go hunting this morning, even though I didn't kill anything. It was just good to go back out, even though it was cold as shit. Even though you didn't see anything either, really. Yeah, it was a bad deal. Then the best part was actually, so our our blind, our stand was right here, and Cade was sitting with Micah like up on the mountain over here, and they were looking over these two fields, and we were looking over this field. Doosh. I'm like, oh shit! Like Micah just killed something. So I'm texting on a little group chat that we had. Like Micah, did you kill something? Did you kill something? He's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, I did. Like 15 minutes later, doosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was me and Dan just started dying laughing. <laughs> was it Micah's voice? <laughs> that's awesome. Messed. Oh, that's great. I got a good one from last week that you will appreciate. Okay. So, I haven't been down. I don't go to many Georgia games. I've been to almost every home game this year. Was able to spend the entire game, Tennessee, on the sideline. I saw most of you guys on the sideline at some point or another. And I'm fourth quarter, I'm standing next to Goaty. And... <laughs> <laughs> And I hadn't seen him all game, so I'm chatting him for just a quick second, like, hey, what are you doing after the game, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, Kirby turns around, and I've never been this close to Kirby in my entire life. Me neither. He goes, Cody! He said, get your f***ing I'm like, oh my god, like, I thought I was going like, oh, to get kicked out of Apple. My butt went like this to this real quick. <laughs> so fist pump for I wasn't being like slaughtered by him. When I saw you all two down there, I do a double take, like a look, and like, no shit. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little stressful, Patrick. Yeah, a little stressful. My fist pump feature of the week is actually a shout out to my sister. So they had their first uh, there in their conference tournament right now for volleyball, and they had their first game tonight. And they play; they're the six seed, and they play the three seed. And they went to five sets. They're tied ten and ten. My sister came in to serve and went five straight serves. They won fifteen to ten. So shout out to her, the Owls. <laughs> Bang! So nice. big for them. Um, all right, huh? Who do you? Who do you? Baby. Who do you? So Logan's. Mm -hmm. Good spot. Um, all right, we got a little special guest in the building tonight, Mr. Jake Sapp. Come on over here, sir. Come on over here. Give us, give us. Uh... Oh, what you got over there? Oh, some goody goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never goes to tell. I got to go on your size. I told you that. It's not ready yet. Ooh. Couple hats. Heck yeah, brother. I'll take a hat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I got two eggs. Thank you. Here's the two. Oh, that's me, baby. <laughs> absolutely. Right. And then a nice, uh, oh, no, these are the decorator here. Like, a little tin sign. Oh, where are we putting this one? We got it. We got it. Pretty sick. Thinking right there in the corner? What do we think? Oh, yeah. That's perfect. perfect. For now, we'll cover the hand turkey. 1780. All right, Jake, give the, uh, come, here, come, hey, oh, come, oh, I get on the couch. Just come, come get on the couch with the boys for a second. <laughs> couple up. All right, tell us, uh, you're a man of many talents. You do yeah. many things. Tell us, uh, who you are, what you do. Sure. Many things you do. So go ahead and. Yeah, well, I'm Jake. I, uh, I know some of these guys from my time at ESP, which is one of UGA football's favorite nonprofits to get involved with. You guys do Bulldogs and Buddies every year. Um, and I was the program director there for about eight years. Um, and so that's where I've kind of met some of you. I think a few of y'all have escorted at Big Hearts. I know you have, I know Payne, you have, I know you have. Yeah. Have you? Mm -hmm. This is the year, February. If you're not getting ready for Heck yeah. other stuff, yeah, you'll have to come. But yeah, so i uh, program director there, so I do that, or I did that. I transitioned to a family business recently. Uh, we own a body shop on the north end of town. We've actually fixed Jack's car uh, in the spring, <laughs> so that was that. pretty fun. Um, he's got to bring the car back soon, I think. So uh, after football season, we'll be we'll be there for you as well. Um, but yeah, when I moved to that, I just started thinking about all the fun 
I was missing out on and how much I like to drink beer. And so uh, me and a buddy from UJ started a beer company. It's called Peach Shade Light. Uh, you know, I think everybody loves a good Miller Light or a good Bud Light or a good Bush Light, Natty Light. And it's that same world. It's just a local one um, for Georgia guys to enjoy. And It's delicious. And it's it good. It's it a is. good beer. Uh, we're the unofficial sponsor of the CCC, the Classic City Collective. So whenever you go to their tailgates, um, you'll see Patrick and Hibbs slamming some Peach Shade Light. Some. Many. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that's what we're doing. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I was excited to kind of bring you guys some gear. Dude, uh, appreciate you, brother. The boys wearing PC light makes us look good. You guys yeah. look good, so yeah. only y'all get to have the gear. So. Heck yeah! For you guys that don't know, Jake, Jake is absolutely one of the most down to earth, nicest people I've ever met. So. Thank you. Yeah, much. I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate you for being on, brother. Cool. Thanks for the gear. Thanks for having us. Thank you, sure. Good dogs. Good dogs, baby. Good dogs. Dude, this thing's soft. I'm, this is awesome. Man. I might take it from you yeah. when we go to watch Yellowstone on Sunday. Yeah, okay, Yellowstone. Who watched Who watched the premiere? Anybody? I can't say I watched the show. Nobody except Don't for watch us watch the show either. Premiere <laughs> what? Yellowstone. I, I, I couldn't get it to oh. watch Yellowstone. <laughs> I couldn't get it to pull up on my TV. Y'all are tripping. I, want, I, I wanted some reviews. It. But I attempted. Anyway, yeah, I would have liked it. Patrick, please tell me you watched Yellowstone. I guess like I did. Yeah. Thank I had, you. I had a oh, yeah. day out. We're the only three people that have that watched. Did you watch the premiere? I actually watched the last episode of last season and then the two hours. I had three hours of Yellowstone. Come on. All right. So where? What platform did you watch it on? Uh, it was just on YouTube TV. Oh, it was on YouTube TV? Yeah. 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 Oh, Paramount. Paramount. Oh, Paramount. Oh, Paramount. Paramount. Oh, Paramount. 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 Could not get it to work. Morning, but then it was available. So it, it's on live. At uh, so nice. I love it. 8 p.m. on Sunday, and then the next morning it's on the platform. I watched so it cute. and tried like rewinding, and it wouldn't let me fast forward, even though I was like back in time. Back and I had to like rewatch the first 20 minutes, and I'm like, fuck, I was watching all tomorrow. Huh. So I was able to watch it, but okay, like, so you did watch it. I did watch. All right, what do what do we think? <clears throat> I was oh. hoping that Tate or Monica died. To be honest with you, hey, can we stop? That who? Stop what? Tate or Mon- really? not this No, this isn't yeah. any spoilers. This isn't any spoilers. You just no. told me we should have die. <laughs> this has nothing to do with that. <laughs> 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 well, but like, <laughs> can, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we go on that for a second? Yeah. Monica absolutely is a, is a bum in the show. Yeah, and Tate. Like, remember, buzzkill. Remember, buzzkill. When Tate, remember when Tate got his head shaved? Yeah. yeah. That was funny. That was yeah. funny. <laughs> mm. Sad, but. What'd you think? I thought it was alright. Yeah. I've heard good takes, I've had some heard bad takes. I'm gonna give the season a little bit more to before I give my opinion, but see you, Jake. See ya. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Appreciate sure it. See y'all soon. That was good. No complaints. I liked it. Yeah, I think it's setting yeah. it up. I agree. Yeah. I think it, it, the first hour, in my opinion, was like a five out of ten. The second hour was like an eight out of ten, in my opinion. The second hour kind of really got going. Yeah, I agree. I'm just glad it's back on. Two hour premiere. Yeah. yeah. Two. Yeah, it was, it was back to back episode. You guys yeah. just had to watch the movie. Correct. Pretty much. <laughs> that was awesome. And we got another special guest. Who we got? Jay. Come on in. Oh, we got cookies, boys. Come on. Oh. I called the boys like cookies. My guy. Oh, my God. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Introduce, you gotta introduce yourself to the camera. All right. Come sit down. Come sit down. Come on in. Yes. <laughs> yes. Spot. Yes. Podcast. Yep. Podcast. 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 Jacob Williams told me that you boys love cookies, and Thank he you. recommended 25 cookies. I only brought 24 because it came in packs of 12. So That's perfect. I'll cookies more next time, but I'm Shay. I work for Truist Wealth Sports Entertainment Group. I'm the wealth advisor that's partnered with the Classic City Collective. So you're going to see me around a lot more in terms of helping you guys and student athletes in terms of financial literacy, budgeting, helping with retirement planning and all the good stuff. So I'm from Minnesota. I moved down here full time in September. Um, been back and forth, big Bulldog fan. My little brother, Red, played for a Georgia basketball team with Anthony Edwards, I want to say, mm-hmm. a couple years ago before Anthony Edwards got drafted. Thank so, you. pretty familiar with University of Georgia. Uh, my cousin, her, sta- or her dad is Patrick Pass, who played for Georgia way, way back, Absolutely. played in the NFL for a little bit. So, you'll see me around a lot. I'm excited to help you guys. It's my vision and goal that as you guys continue to make NIL money and you go and other aspects of life, whether you're a CEO, professional athlete, the money that you make in NIL is still in your pocket when you graduate. So when you do touch NFL money or the big dollars, you can put that away for retirement. 
Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, dude. So, appreciate awesome. you guys. Shoot you. Thank you. Can I get a picture yeah. for, for my boss? Yeah, let's do it. Let's Absolutely. Fire and Flavor is a local Athens company that loves supporting the dogs. Founded by UGA alumni Davis and Jenna Knox, this company is your go to resource for all things grilling. They got dry rubs, barbecue pellets, charcoal, and the new and innovative Hero Portable Grill. Fire and Flavor gets it done and find their products at fireandflavor.com or at your local striplings, Publix, or Lowe's Home Improvement. Use their code TAILGATE, that's TAILGATE, for 25% off on their website. Again, their website is fireandflavor.com. Use the code TAILGATE for 25% off. Black. Our nutrition oh, it's so is, bad. It is so hard because our entire team is, everyone's 10 pounds out of weight at this point in the season. And so fried chicken, like French fry, like it's just, everything is just fried and Doesn't heavy. Matter. Yeah. And it's like, man. At some point in the season, every season, I have to really tell my short, myself to start eating better because I'm just not doing as much working out and stuff. Oh, really? Well, it's just. Well, listen, <laughs> what about this is hard. And then this year, this year, since everybody's low. <laughs> I love that. Brett loved it. What about a practice? <laughs> Never mind. No, nope, we'll hear can, can you tell? Can y'all run us through a day of practice? Yeah. So for special, what is it? What is it? Normal day. This is gold. This will be good. Actually, you so, want us pain walk? Yeah. Let's ask pain walk. Never comes to practice anymore. Like in anyway. practice. Hey, no practice. Practice was great. Um, <laughs> I watched the end of KOC KOR kickoff coverage and kickoff return. Okay. Through a football for 10 minutes and then did yoga. Yeah. Let's go on, hold on, let's go into detail before we continue. Name and position. William Oat, long snapper on pond. Jack Pod Lesney, kicker. Everybody knows you. Yeah, Brett Thorson, Pana. Pana. Payne Walker, long snapper on field goals. Pana. Okay, so. Would take. You threw trenches. a football. Down you threw up a ball. You talked to me for a little bit. Yeah, we shot it. Shot the shit for a little bit. Yep. Um, Family show. What yeah. happens on Mondays, man? Yeah, oh, yeah Mondays, Mondays are the best day. Uh, I have class from 4 to 7, which is unfortunate <laughs> because that just happens to be practice time. I know you're really sad about what that. About, and it crushes this. me that I'm not able to go. Yeah. What about but, Tuesdays? What do those look like for y'all? Stadium days. Tuesdays, maybe. we go to the stadium. So we don't have to hear the microphone. Man, it's we got days. Baby. We go to the stadium on Tuesdays. I'll never forget when I was hurt last year, and it was like when I was first starting to get back, like into running or whatever. I walk outside and they're playing punk golf. <laughs> like, I don't do that a lot. The good old days. <laughs> we were, like five we actually days. don't do that anymore, really. I was on a scooter by week. Oh. <laughs> so by week. that was probably my bowl spring. week. Yeah, it was bowl practice or SEC sure. practice. I remember that. Brett, take us through uh, a specialist meeting. Specialist meeting? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you do during the specialist mm, meeting? Give me that box of cookies. Speaking of that, I walked into y'all's room the other day. I love how you have a football from each team that we play. Yeah. 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 We're, we're slacking on like three teams, we try. but it's still pretty good. We try our best. Yeah, Everybody's giving up it. but me. It feels we like trade. So. Don't tell Gage your will, but we trade. Yeah, yeah we definitely trade. Definitely. definitely. That's we should, yeah. we should just steal them. Well, that's what I told them today, right. to make it sound Anyone like we did. Specialist trade. meeting, yeah. give it to us. The specialist meeting, obviously we have um, <laughs> so we about, about, about two 50 minute meeting periods, four position a day in the special teams room. And obviously everyone's like individual, so we watch our own film. So it's kind of weird to watch it as a group because Jack will just want to watch like his kicks. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and he'll just like skip straight through the snaps. Or and, NFL and, kickers. Yeah, like, NFL kickers. And like and the somehow, pounds will come up and you'll be like, oh, like this will be Kane Jack will just like straight through the kickers. Hunting like, boring, what can I say? So you kind of watch it in your Same own much. time. Hey, um, watch it. Hunting's <laughs> not when you get a part of return. return yeah. 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 Exactly, it's boring. boring. Wow. Ooh, touchy subject. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we, um, we all have our own ways to kind of get through the meeting time. Um, Jack watches a lot of NFL film. We do it. Lately, we've been doing um, brackets. What would you call them? Payne come up with the idea to do brackets. So we kind of pick a topic and we'll rank 16. Mm. Particularly like, this. Yeah, parts of the topic. And then we kind of sit there and debate it for a bit so it can get Worst quite Worst places heated. to poop. Oh. We stole, I stole males. most of them from Barstool. But. Hold on. Let's hear that. Did males. you just say most, most attractive males? Most attractive, attractive males. males. Meanwhile, was meanwhile one of us two were getting stuff. absolutely chewed out for anything we did the day before. We're They're in there rating worst places to take a crap. 
What do you think? Long time answer. We'll, we'll take a guess. I'll tell you. Middle of practice. Why you're that was that was, the top a, seeds. that was one of the higher seeds, yeah, but it was acid. not the winner. Public no nope. potties. It was so close. The bar that, that, that was, came in that second. Was, yeah. Finals. Yeah. We're at top of a bar at midnight. Third a world third country. world country <laughs> porta potty. <laughs> Payne's done it. I was close. I I took, I've taken a crap in a porta potty in uh, Utakana. Oh, yeah, that, and you've got KB. Dominican who, Republic. You know, is that third world? Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's flip real quick. No. It's third world. I, um, I had a blast, but I went yeah, right before boy. COVID. Um, We're going to CopCana, which is like below Prince Connor. It was, we had, it was me, Stet, uh, Fitz, Braden. Who else was there? Yeah, it might have been it. We had a blast. I've never seen videos. You ever been in one with like the squatting toilet? Like squatting toilet? Oh, like where you, like it squirts up from the toilet? No, no, like it's on the ground. Isn't like, that the big thing in the ground, Asia? There's no bowl. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like you're just standing up and you poop? Oh, squatting. Yeah, it's a yeah, squirting. Like, yeah, there's no, there's no squirting toilet. toilet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but there's no toilet bowl. That's what I thought. Have you boys seen them? It's just like a hole in the ground. Yeah, it's just a hole in the ground pretty much, yeah. You have to aim. You guys ever seen the the... I don't know if this is true or not, but like I've seen things where, like the the like the healthier way to take a crap is to like put <laughs> it's like your feet up. Yeah, yeah. You put your feet it's up. Like the squatty body. Yes, squatty body. See, I was all for it until I realized I'm so big. Me sitting down on a normal toilet's like already like me using a squatty body. <laughs> you guys have, have you guys ever done an AC Slater? A what? <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> what is that? Can you explain? It'll change your life. Get so, like, imagine that this is a hypothetical situation. You're doing some work on your laptop, right? You've definitely. You're sitting before. like this. You're trying to poop. You get your laptop on you. Turn around. Oh, laptop reverse. On, laptop on the sit on the tank. Wow. How many times have you done that? Too really? many. You so miss the many. miss the water. You got a courtesy, but like it's, it's awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can tell AC you, Slater. you need some sleep. Bro. My uh, small group leader taught me about that in high school. So. <laughs> Your small group leader. Yeah, he's a man. Wow. That's absolutely hilarious. Interesting. What was the, give us, what was the another funny one besides worst place we to did, crap? Oh, we yeah, did. Oh, yeah. We did. Oh, we also we did. Most, did, most, did we, yeah. Let's, he keeps talking about the most attractive <laughs> don't tell people if you have All right, We're not promoting that part, but that one was you, funny. You are promoting it. We did. Uh, They're not putting it in there. <laughs> we did uh, coolest <laughs> things. Matthew McCall. Coolest, things. coolest, like coolest like things or moves that <laughs> someone could do. Um, the one that won that was catching a home run while holding a baby or a oh, beer in your hand. Or catching it like with a beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. like catching okay. it in. Uh, that went up against boobs. Boobs in the finals. Yeah, yeah. boobs That's are pretty a cool. Washburn favorite right there. Boobs <laughs> made it all the way to the finals as a 16 seed. Are you serious? Swear. Wait, we have all those seed these. Yeah, we see them. Can I do a bracket? Yes. No way. I'll take, I'll take yeah. a picture yeah. of it. Please. So yeah, take a picture of it. We're definitely putting this on. I there. might have one. On boobs my are pretty cool. I will agree. Dude, Washburn is secretly. I, I'm, I'm. I'm loving it. Like the kid. I'm worried. Oh He's probably my favorite spice. Uh, Last year at our Halloween party, really? right. I'll text yeah. KD thought, to send yeah. me one. <laughs> I think it's just like, I don't really know him. I just see him from like the outside looking in, and I think I could easily get that. Like, I actually remember it was like a 6 a.m. workout last year. Washburn's passed out on the ground. I'm like tapping him on the shoulder, like, yo, we got to work out in like five minutes. He stands up. Like, holy <laughs> shit, Washburn. <laughs> it's bad. He shows up hard. that workout. Our Halloween party, uh, my June last year, at his house, Washburn like shows up like one of the first ones there, and I'm like, "Is this kid even on? Like, who is this kid?" He's all <laughs> Washburn along Stafford. I was like, "Well, all right, buddy, welcome." You get a picture? I just texted KB. He's he'll text me back fast. Oh, that's probably. definitely good. He's up. probably awesome. right on his phone. <laughs> that's gold. I love it. All right, so uh, you're from Melbourne, Australia. Give us, give us the deets on how you got here. How I got to Georgia? Um, yeah, I, well, I grew up originally like 19 years on the farm. So two hours out of Melbourne um, and then moved to Melbourne and like start studying. So I was studying in Australia. We play Australian football. So it's like a bit more of an oval ball, a bit similar to a rugby ball. Um, like the Vapor Elite, some of those teams kick. Um, is that like a shot? Like, yeah, the one. Who's a shot? That's Stetson. He yeah, chooses terrible footballs. Stetson. He chooses freaking needles. Yeah. Every, every one of our quarterbacks says they're awful. 
trying to get the fan base behind Except for We are trying yeah. to get the fan base behind so, us. We need, yeah, we need to kick like Florida's football. No, like, 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 every yeah. team in the nation. Like, so. Missouri's football. Like, so really wider. Yeah. Wider, yeah. Bigger sweet Easier spot. Easier to kick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, pretty much like was no good at that. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it required a lot of running and I'm not the biggest fan of running. So um, I thought I'd flip to a game where I've got to take two steps and keep the ball and hopefully if I do my job. Um, there's not much running, but I joined a program, a program called Pro Kick Australia, that pretty much trains people. They film you like while you're training, and then they have a bunch of contacts over here. That I think they've done over about 200 Division One scholarships. Um, Tell them the rule. The rule? Oh yeah. So we um, our, our recruiting is a bit different. It's is crazy. it like the one the one school? Yeah. Yeah. We only talk to one school, so it's not like we like kind of have to commit to one entertain, school. Entertain. Yeah. Like. like mm. All these offers, um, we're nice? grateful for like any offer um, that comes our way. Is so once you talk to one, it's like this is this yeah. Is it. So yeah, if the school offers you, you just so. like look up pictures on Google and you're like, oh, this place looks cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, what <laughs> so your first, or <laughs> well, your first time he'd never been in there. Athens yeah. Yeah. was when you came here. Yeah, jumped off the flight and first time in America. That sounds. But I mean, imagine getting stuck at like some crappy program and you're like, this is football. You know, yeah. like he gets stuck in Athens. Like that's a pretty good place for a football team. Uh, yeah, I got pretty lucky. Or, or a good football team, but I'm yeah. saying. So yeah, no, nah, it's a bit different. Like I know, like I got lucky, but, and some of the boys like will say like no for specific reasons, but you'd want to have a pretty good reason if you like turn down a scholarship offer. Um, it's not like we don't take 30 offers and then pick our best scenario. Um, we just, yeah, so Georgia, lucky enough for me was first school to talk to me, Coach Hartley. Um, jumped on a phone and we communicated for a bit of time and then he said that spot's yours so heck yeah i remember we were, i was meeting with him last year year and a half ago something like that and it was towards the end of jake's time being here and he's like i was like who are we gonna who's playing next year and he was like dude i found this kid from australia he's awesome he showed me some videos you guys like kick and boot it it was quite funny yeah like it's very like so different the way you guys get recruited like i've never played a game of football so it's not like we can send game film over like it's just us in like a local field kind of with cone set up to like show yardage and then like you try and show a hash like in yardage and then yeah it's just us trying to kick as many That's balls in a row um, yeah. yeah he'd never so like how much did you know about georgia before coming here um georgia was probably like a it was a school that the better programs in America usually end up with pretty good American punters. So like, as you see with Jake, so I was meant initially because I was studying in Australia, I was meant to leave earlier than I did, but because it was Georgia, I waited. And Georgia was just a school that we were like, oh yeah, like that's like top tier. So I didn't, it wasn't school I looked into crazy to be like, oh yeah, I want to go here. Um, I wanted to go to like the best school possible. And like the SEC was like, obviously, the goal, but Georgia was probably like one that I was like, ah, oh, Jake's there. Like Jake's one of the better, like was one of the best punters in like the nation. So um, I was like, yeah, pleasantly surprised when Georgia come through. But I knew it was big. I did obviously didn't know anything about like Athens um, or like- You like Athens? Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah. Athens is fun. Um, <laughs> and your, fa your family came to Athens for the first time. They did, they spent a few weeks here. They loved it. They um. They said everyone was really good. That's what probably made it, like the people here and all the restaurants. So it's good for me. I got to take him to all the good restaurants and then that Very meant I was just Where'd getting the food. Him? What did I take him? Uh, we went to Big City Bread Cafe. That's probably- Great choice. Yeah, favorite burger without a doubt. Um, Chuck's, they were all four. Uh, what else do we, I don't even know what else. Oh, Five Bar, obviously the neighbor. Um, they enjoyed that, but yeah. <laughs> So we, we got to a few good ones. Um, obviously, I wouldn't take them anywhere bad because I'd have to eat it then. But <laughs> was it, what Speaking was it? of food, what did you tell me you were going to do before you came here? Before I came here? Yeah, when you were getting a massage. You were going to stop by Five Bar and do something. Oh, I was going to get a chicken schnitzel. But no, you, it it was, you was basically <laughs> saying you were going to get something to Dude's eat. Like, that's not what oh, yeah, I was going to grab a feed. Yeah, like I was gonna grab say, a like, feed, drop in a five and grab a feed. Never heard that before. Grab Corey said it today. Grab a feed, get some meat. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. yeah. <laughs> we'll grab a feed. I'm definitely starting to use that now. No, yeah, let's let him stick to that. Yeah, yeah. So, what was it like your first game? First game, that was cool. I was grabbing um, bricks, or what was? How'd you feel? 
I was like just confused with everything going on. Like the closest thing to a game I'd played was G Day, but obviously that works a bit different with like TV timeouts and whatnot. So it was a lot slower than, and it's kind of like I probably kicked over 200 balls into the warm up now just because I thought like I could be kicking at any point. But once we were up by about 30, 40 points, I relaxed a bit and was more just like I was able to kind of absorb it and take it all in which was good and we, snuck, didn't, we didn't put it all that game right? I snuck out for one punt one, one yeah, yeah. 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 Right. I was about to say we only had one yeah. that's kind of nice yeah, so, so it relieves the pressure you're up by 40 points yeah that lets you go out there and just yeah it was it. good just get out there And but we had uh, the thing that probably like did it we had a timeout. um one of the boys didn't run out there so <laughs> we got out there with 10 people and then we had a timeout. so I had to stand there for like three minutes and <laughs> listen to like coach <laughs> Mark just let us all know <laughs> what? Where we stood for not having enough people out there. That's um, awesome. We didn't go out there. And, and, the, and, the and then we got to talk about. We did go out there. I don't remember. We got to talk about the magical pun that ended up on the one yard line. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that Mo, was. give us your perspective. What was, what was. My perspective was totally different. Holy shit, when's this ball going to land? Yeah, I was running down the field. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, obviously, like. After I snap it, I had to block that one, so I wasn't going to get downfield first. I'm either releasing or just blocking. So I blocked, and the guy, they were holding Smile up, who was the left guard. And then I start running down the field, and there's everybody in front of me. So I just go to run off, cut off the field like my job is. And I was like, all right, it's not coming down, not coming down. It came down, and then the guy didn't catch it, bounces and Nylon just starts sprinting. And I had an, a perfect angle to where I could see the pylon mm. and the ball rolling. And I was like, ah, oh, we're good. So I, I started just jogging and it goes, it goes out of bounds. And Nylon like knocks it out. I was like, we're good anyways. It would have been on the one without yeah. Nylon's help, obviously, but that was golden. That was a good, yeah, that was so cool. Great punt. How far was it? 75. 75. Man. That had to be a record for Georgia, right? Like, they had to set uh, I think Jake, Jake, Jake hit a 76. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think Jake yeah. did hit a 78 or 76, yeah, like something like that. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, not a record man. yet. Didn't Jake hit the school board in the stadium this year? First yeah, month. Yeah, his first month. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was getting some hate from the fans, and he wore, like, a, what did he wear on the plane? I don't care about your opinion, uh, opinion yeah. about yeah. me. Yeah, whatever. Like and then since then, he's been booting, like, yeah, sixty-five yards. Yeah, just averaged out like of it. sixty-one last game with two punts. Got the game ball. He's doing good. So lit. He's lighting it up. So awesome. Like me, like me, like me. Because he's not punting needles. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. The Duke. That hurt. The Duke. All right, so that's probably gonna be your favorite, your favorite player your career, right? Would, would be your short career. Would be that <laughs> punt, right? More to come. More to come. We had like yeah, twenty-two I, punts. Yeah, we haven't had many punts. I've had, like the first punt was probably good. Just like, I, I think from the point of like seeing the sidelines seeing all the boys when you get off and like the boys are pretty happy like, yeah boys are get, get the helmet tap so um please you hated that you were like well, well yeah i got over i got over to jack <laughs> yeah i got over to jack and jack's just like it's just one punt like who cares <laughs> 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 yeah. so, so, um, well speaking of jack your favorite play is <laughs> it, i mean it's got to be the cincy kick right oh, yeah, walk us was. walk us through uh what that I, walk us through what that season was like for you because that season, it yeah. seems pretty good. I mean, I that was your first. That was your first, first season. Yeah, it's the first season. So I mean, expectations, but no expectations. Expectations, but no expectations at the same time. I mean, I'm uh, trying to fill a spot for Rodrigo, so people are like, oh yeah, like this kid's got a ball, or else he's out of here. Um, I think I remember going into the Alabama game, and I was like seven for eight with a long of fifty one. I went like the prior week, I went like three for three at Tennessee. Um, but going into Cincinnati, uh, it was weird. You yeah, almost that, didn't play that game. I almost didn't, yeah. So crazy enough, I uh, I tested positive for oh. COVID. Oh, God. Yeah. And I honestly, I was like, yes, <laughs> I don't have to play. Like I get to sit this out, I get to chill, maybe I go home. And then like two days later, cause I think it was me and Lewis scene. And two days later, like they call us and they're like, hey, it was false positive. And I was like, that sucks. <laughs> so we make the, we make the trip to Atlanta, um, and you know two for two on the day going into the fourth quarter. And I remember like like I remember like pretty well. Payne just slaps me on the ass and goes, "Go get ready." <laughs> I mean like we were just waiting right there, and they punted away, and he was like, "Go get ready." And I was like, "What? Like, Hell we're yeah. about to, we're really about to have to kick." Um, and then going out onto the field and 
I just, I remember like watching as like the ball is going through and everyone around is like already celebrating. And I'm like, wait, it hasn't gone through yet. <laughs> and then turning around, just pointing the finger and running. Um, and then pain, like breaking his ankle pretty much. <laughs> Where did you wait, go? Wait, hold on. This, hey, is, hold this, is, this. this is peak athleticism. Like this, this, is is bad. Bad. this is bad. This is bad day. All day long. So you snap the ball. Bro, this is bad day for me. So <laughs> give Jack the butt tab. Go like, get ready. Get in the net. We're about to kick a game winner. It's on you. Let's do this. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. We got it, dude. It doesn't matter. Everybody was like, where's Pod on the sideline? Yeah. Too. And I was like, nobody we cares. We didn't know where he went. Game. Everybody was like looking around. They're like, I remember, I don't know if I made this up in my mind or if it actually happened, but I remember like being there, like about to go out and like looking at you and be like, you ready? And you saying like, we'll find out. <laughs> I, probably I can't say remember that. if that actually happened, no, I probably, yeah, I like but I think it did. did. Meanwhile, to win the Peach Bowl. Yeah, so then we go out there, snap it, Jake holds it, he kicks it. We make it. Everyone's like, "Oh yeah, let's go!" Still time on the clock. Everyone like the people. No one cares. Yeah, the they run on the field run. or whatever. Jack turns and runs four two four. He holding his finger up. I just didn't want to celebrate with pain, you know. Running, <laughs> I'm like trying to go get him. Tackle him. Like, let's go! <laughs> Jump up in the air. <laughs> like probably 35 inch vertical wow. yeah 40 Jump, 40 like get airborne come down just sideways on my ankle you can see it in the video too like on the tv copy i like jump up fall and i'm just like oh that's not good <laughs> wobble off to the sideline and tell mr ron i'm like hey uh i think i broke my ankle <laughs> he's like what do you mean i was like hey dude it's like not good and he like looks at it my ankle is already like super swollen Softball. like gross looking and i didn't break it i had a high angle sprain uh but i had to wear a boot for a month Jeez. Uh, we show up to meetings the next meeting we had we <laughs> yeah and i was in a boot <laughs> for celebrating <laughs> too hard it's pretty athletic that's yeah. awesome that's not the mitchell back in the day Mm. Us versus Clemson, and someone scored a touchdown. And yep. He jumped and he hit like a, a knee. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. basically yeah. Malcolm Mitchell. <laughs> Having one of LSU, such LSU a great athlete. I bet Malcolm Mitchell didn't in. snap a game-winning field goal though. <laughs> he did not. LSU's uh, <laughs> one of their starting defensive linemen was probably one of the better defensive linemen. Uh, made a tackle or something in the backfield and jumped up. ACL, yeah. That's off. Awesome. Yeah. Don't celebrate. Yeah, don't oh, jump. Don't celebrate. leave. Don't. You can celebrate. Just happens, don't. Jump. Happens in baseball. Like, how many times that happened in baseball? Yeah, People jump at our home plate. Yeah. yeah. Just, just pump all my yeah. yeah. I, reverse that, pump it. That so. play. <laughs> reverse pump. That play. One of one of the scariest things during a game happened to me. And you know how the rule is like no no helmets on the sideline. Like you oh, can't I remember this. Mm. So. Obviously, Pod hits the game-winning field goal. Yeah, that's and that's got like said, a tampon shoved up his nose during that too. You remember yeah, that? oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I had a bloody nose from the last punch. Shoved but nose. <laughs> but so I throw my helmet. Oh my gosh! And I run out there, and I was like, "Shoot, I don't got my helmet. Where is it?" After we celebrate, and I look, and Coach Mart's holding my helmet, oh, and I'm like, "Oh, this that's is a not bad deal." Go. And I snuck from the side. He was like looking. Like he, he was kind of like lost, like trying to figure out, like we need to get off the field kind of thing. Yeah. I snuck by him and like grabbed it from him without him seeing me. It was the best move of my life because I feel like he would have ripped me for it. And that, you know how like how serious that of a oh, rule that 100%. is. He's ripped millions of people for that. Yeah, that's like but yeah, that was like the scariest cool. moment of that. Game for me. Yeah, really cool. That's wild. So, yeah. That that's was bad. like of you to be able to. Yeah. Jeez. What's the rule? You can't leave a helmet on the ground. Yeah. If you do, because there's been injuries that have happened, but also because it's the uh, G. You know, you know, during a game, he's like, even lose, it's your ass. Like, lose. <laughs> like, he gets mad, he will lose it on you. Practice, uh, it's like, it's really bad. No, James Cook got hurt. Death penalty know. if you do it in practice. Yeah. That's why no one's done it this year. Just put it in the kicker bag. That's what I do. Seriously. Just find somewhere that's not a ground, like a yeah. bench. Yeah. What? I'll never forget that celebration. I was like in my sling because I just had shoulder surgery. And. I mean, as soon as the kick went in, I mean, I, uh, the sling just goes down. I'm just like, <laughs> the, field. That was the worst man. part about getting hurt doing it was I had a, we had to do the whole parade their celebration thing on the field after. Oh, <laughs> so right. I couldn't like go that. in and get an extra and then I was just sucking it up, walking on it. Yeah. So speaking of the parade. Uh, no, we're not going down that road. <laughs> yes. Come on. No, no. Maybe another, maybe another day. Need a few beers. Maybe once. Bonfire. Maybe when I'm retired. You retired. Can we talk about how much I hate two people in here's unit? 
<laughs> the goal team. I hate it. <laughs> it is the worst job on the field it, throughout the game. It's awful. I hate you it. mean team you automatic? Yeah, what about squat, squat for like 30, 30 seconds? Is that bad? You are sitting there stepping back. No, just he, playing, does, he does I, take forever. I, no, it's not me. It has nothing to do it's with him. It's not me. He it's, can, he can be the fastest kicker I in the world. I fully believe that Ben Cleveland set the standard for y'all in complaining during 100%. that period. He I was the worst. I don't complain. It's just I don't want to do it. Like, I just sit there, he step like back. That. This is what just, I'm talking like, about. Just to get teed off on. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Like, especially three we, guys. Yeah, that three, exactly. Three guys. But. <laughs> like, Devin, so Devin Willick was next to me during the uh, Tennessee game. Devin's right foot is at my chest. I'm like, Devin, what'd you do to piss these dudes off? <laughs> what is it? 1.3 seconds of strain. 1.3 seconds of Devin, team auto bet. Devin, we got, we got to teed off on that game. <laughs> right. That was awful. It's, I mean, especially like when they put one outside of me, so I had to give help, and then there's and two inside, inside of me. Too, yeah. So I'm just <laughs> hoping you get the kick off. Riding the wave, cuz. Riding today, the wave. Today, Mims, uh, I snapped a field goal on Mims. Well, I turn and look, and Mims pushing me on the ground from behind, and I'm like, "What are what are you, what are you doing?" He's like, "I'm trying to stay up," and I'm like, <laughs> "What?" Yeah, and I was you like, "Just gotta take it." No, but look, he says, "He says if it wasn't for me, you'd be getting blown up every time." And I said, "That's very fair." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah, oh man, I love Mimsy. Respect to the guards, for sure. no doubt. Those guys take on three guys at one time. Yeah. All right, they move me to tackle. And I'm so off this week. that's your least favorite thing. We're going to transition to our favorite things with our <laughs> tear talk, real talk, tear talk. We're going to do with this coming out Thanksgiving week. We're going to do favorite Thanksgiving foods. Okay. So how should we do the order? Let's get something juicy going. How should we figure this out? I'll go first. Oldest to youngest. No, we did that last time, but I'll go first. There's way too many. But how many are like each? Th- three each. Yeah, we all. Can we do like one, one, one? Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. It won't be one, two, three. It'll be. Is it snake or are we well, just, just going snake. circle? Yeah. It's, well, ooh, snake's not bad. Yeah. Time, Let's go snake. We'll go snake. Yeah, so go here and I'll go back and then back. All right. Okay. Tier one. Mac favorite. and cheese. Mac and cheese. Jeez. That is the most bland first answer. You must not eat good mac and cheese if you say it's bland. It's Thanksgiving. You can have mac and cheese anytime. And if you have turkey on as your number one, you're, there's something wrong with you. Wow. That's... Okay. Listen, we get after it sometimes. Okay. We have, we've agreed um, like one time. Because of that comment, I'm going to go turkey. It's yeah. Horrible. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, it is horrible. Turkey is Thanksgiving. Turkey is like, it's it doesn't mean it's good. Oh, man, I got some good. It's like the sta- question. Yeah, it's the staple food of Thanksgiving, but that doesn't mean it's good. You're it's dry. dry. You're All right, big boy. You just like Mac and cheese. It's hard to cook. It's you really like dry, dry meat? typically. Yeah. That's, that's Do you like dry meat, man? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the ca- I mean, podcasting couch. I mean, deep fried turkey. Well, you must not have good turkey. Deep now. fried turkey? Yeah. Listen, I think deep fried turkey. Turkey. as far as turkey goes, it's Thanksgiving. You got to have it. You got to have it. Yeah. You have to have it. I respect the answer. I respect the answer. You have to have it. You have to have it. Pilgrim's at it. You have to have it. Here's here's a question. Brent, have you ever had Thanksgiving? Can we? Yeah. Can we? Can we hit on this? So from Australia. <laughs> This will be your first Thanksgiving Correct. in America. What are you looking forward to having the most? Something I've probably heard talked about the most would probably be stuffing. Um, <laughs> I, no, like, I just hear everyone talking about it. Stuff it. Hey, you got to have the right person makes some stuff. Stuffing yeah. slept on. Stuffing so My right. grandmother. Yeah, that's, good. that's what I mean. So you'll be, it'll be good. <laughs> but so our stuffing is different from my wife's from England. Like their stuff. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, so what's the, give us the... The different der- difference. I got to remember because I it's Thanksgiving's our holiday, so I get my stuff on Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, I want to say it's more. It's not as like moist and dense. Like it's almost like moist the croutons. Like it's moist. I'll have to get a okay. Moist, <laughs> dense, <laughs> moist, dry meat. I mean, what are we doing? Yeah. Pain like dry. That makes sense. They're like more croutony ish. Yeah, it's a little okay. drier maybe. Croutony ish. <laughs> It's a new word. <laughs> Alright, so uh what's your uh, mac and cheese? I'm heading to Atlanta with um Jack and Mrs. Pod Lesney, so No, 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 Supposed to be Fitz, but Fitz, no. It ain't gonna be Darnell. Darnell's already married. Darnell's already married. 
He is? Uh, yes. Yeah, on paper. Oh. <laughs> In Vegas. That was for... Yeah, but that's, that's, never mind. We don't need... All right, good. Um, choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And I got so many good ones. Okay, so I'm going to go, we do a thing in my family called broth and toast the morning after Thanksgiving. So you take the turkey broth, homemade sourdough bread, butter it all up, toast it up, then you put the turkey broth over the toast, crack pepper on top, and it is unbelievable. My dad did it growing up, and it was called like the poor man's meal because it's just it's just bread and broth, <laughs> but it is on. So we're just going outside of Thanksgiving dinner now. It's the turkey broth from Thanksgiving. But it's the morning. Thanksgiving after. food. Thanksgiving food. That's just Thanksgiving. You're Thanksgiving you don't have food. food. You're the biggest prick. This, 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 this guy came by practice today and like stomps on my foot and goes, oh, I'm sorry. It was supposed to be light. And this is <laughs> monster clean. Just, and I just, mm, I was like, I just, I'm going to eat this. I just love annoying guys. <laughs> All right, pod. All right, so I, likes left Next. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes dry meat? Uh, I'm going to go to the My dessert history. path, and I'm going to go with pecan pie. Ooh. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Whoa. That's a great answer. Pecan, pecan or sorry. pecan? It's pecan. pecan. You don't pecan. pee in a can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. I say pecan, too. A lot of people say pecan. All right. I'm yeah. going to say um, creamed corn. Mm. It, yeah. Like the way my mom Very makes it answer. is unreal. Like it's so good. Very good answer. Yeah. He's got two, right? Yeah. Come back around. It. Yep. So give it. Give it all. Um. Second would be. Um, my mom dessert. My mom also makes a chocolate silk pie that's oh. unreal. It's so good. Yeah. Great option. All right. I mean, I'm surprised this hasn't been mentioned yet. Mashed potatoes. I mean, mm. man, like, oh, like that, did, <laughs> that lasted a while. Before. Yeah. I mean. Oh my gosh, I'm so torn in between. You don't have mashed potatoes on your Thanksgiving meal, oh, like mashed potatoes. Mm, something wrong. Yeah. yeah that's do you like mashed potatoes, bro? Nah, I got. Yeah. They're pretty boring. Oh. <laughs> Australians, man. I'll see. Y'all don't have potatoes. What? Y'all don't have potatoes? Nah, we don't. They just haven't been discovered yet. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I, I assume. Yep. It's <laughs> 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 pretty primitive over there, yeah? You, you, you asked me today. Yeah? Primitive over there? I don't know what the that Australians. means. I don't know what um, that means. It's not in our language. You, you asked me yesterday if we have, like, obviously you get some pretty dumb questions. Oh, wow. If, okay. He's if, not wrong. If we have Christmas and I didn't know if you were, like, taking the piss or Must if you were serious. So like, if you haven't caught on yet. The Australian thing, like if I look at him and say, "Do you have Christmas?" That's a joke, right? Well, yeah, you but say, I was also like a lot a of like a lot of religions don't have Christmas, like or celebrate in different ways. So I didn't know if you were serious. So obviously, like I answered it in a smart ass way, it's but then point. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> "But would it surprise you if Mo was being serious?" Absolutely not. No, that's a Washburn question. One hundred percent. We've discussed this. It means I think you're question. like teaching Washburn his ways. I mean, just, listen. <laughs> All right, Father, what you got? I think that yeah, pops. I see both arguments. <laughs> I'm siding with Brett on that one. Okay. At that point, I maybe. All right. <laughs> you did yours, right? I did mine. Okay. Mine, I'm really torn here, trying to decide if my these are going to get taken by the time it gets back to me. I got to go with this because I think it's going to be a higher chance of getting taken. Okay, I'm going to go with my mom's sweet potato casserole. Wouldn't have Dude, you just food. never agree with anything no. I say. I'm not a big fan of it. Doesn't have marshmallows on it. No. What would you put? It marshmallows goes sweet potatoes. Isn't that cold? Walnuts, something else a lot of people Cinnamon and sugar on top, and it's like a crust. You guys do something weird. Sweet potato souffle. Yeah, for sure. That's like the only form of sweet potato I'll eat. That's why I don't like sweet potatoes. But it's it doesn't even taste like sweet potatoes. It's just sugar and nuts, and I just love it. No, I just said it three times. Yeah, didn't hear that. Sorry. Alright, All right, Brett. All right, calm uh, down. Yeah. <laughs> we got the gloves in the locker room. We go tomorrow. Just say, hang on. Give it to us. I'd say one that, like, obviously looking on the board for what I most look like, stuffing was more like, I want to see what it's about, but scallop potatoes, huge mm, back home. Great. That's, um, That's a great answer. What, what I'll probably go for um, is just like scallop potatoes, turkey, and like good white bread. I just have a nice sandwich with a bit of gravy as well. Sandwich. Yeah, so it's sandwich? It's got two slices of bread, so yeah, makes it a sandwich. Well, are we doing potatoes <laughs> or do you want the sandwich? Well, like, I didn't know you like were making no. a sandwich here. 
Yeah, well, yeah. what else would I be he's making? He's just building a sandwich with his answers. Yeah, what else would I be making? <laughs> Okay, so sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. Uh, uh, is your, is your sandwich. tier three going to be white bread? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a cliche question, but Vegemite gay or not? Yeah, all for it. Like, for it, a quiet taste though. Yeah, you got to have it with bo- like that? butter and bread. It's an Australian well. thing. Yeah, what's Vegemite? Sounds like veggie and termites. <laughs> My best way to describe it would be if like soy sauce was like a thick paste that you put on like butter and bread or Ooh. crackers. It's, it's bitter, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty Yeah, bitter. very salty. I think they like outlawed it in the US. I hope so. No, I'm serious. Like, really? I think there's like something in it that the US is like, yeah, yeah, we're not. Like we're not allowed to have that. It's probably good for you then because whatever we have in the US is all. Yeah. I don't really fat. <laughs> Second pick, I'm going to go with green beans. Club. Green bean casual or green beans? Just regular green beans. Okay. Uh, Tapes. Pretty plain. Yeah, I'd go with ham. Ham. Like baked ham. Ham over turkey, absolutely. So, 100%. You're so against the turkey. I what is ham wrong? Turkey. I, I do not like turkey. Honey baked ham. Can't stand it. It's dry. Like Honey baked ham. Just You just got to cook the turkey right. <laughs> I've had turkey cooked in many ways, but I don't like it. The only way it's good is when you get it sliced up in the deli meat. You never had yeah. turkey. Bring me some of your turkey, then. All right. Two or three. Get it. Go. Oh shit, it's me again. That's how snake draft works. Um, well, it's the first time we've been doing this. Uh, You're not, you don't have to pick anything if there's. I'm just looking up there to give me ideas. <laughs> and turkeys. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to the hand turkey that Brock Bowers you. You're part of fall. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go uh, <laughs> cranberry sauce. You hate that guy? Cranberry sauce. <laughs> what? For real? Mm-hmm. Is it- Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, is it the stuff out of the can or like the, the fresh made? Like fresh made. Cranberry I've never understood, like, what are you supposed to eat the cranberry sauce with? Whatever you want to go with. I think, like, the it. sweetness of it, like, turkey. makes it in, like, cuts the, like, the dryness out yeah. of turkey. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Just, like, <laughs> makes sense. I, I have know. a question for all of us after we get through this, but let's get through it first. Uh, pain. Third pick, third tier three. Um, I'm torn between two. I'm torn between two. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Thinking. Uh, pumpkin pie. There you go. All right, Brett. I'm going to have to go with rolls. Um, I've been pretty Make your sandwiches. Yeah, there you go. Sandwiches. Are the rolls. All right, I'm so rolls. glad this did not get taken. It's a twist on what Patrick wrote. He wrote leftover open face sandwiches the next day. Dang it. I'm just gonna go leftovers in general. So two of your picks aren't even from Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> no, they are from Thanksgiving dinner. It's just not Thanksgiving dinner. No, they <laughs> are Thanksgiving dinner. dinner. Technically, they are. Being yeah. on Friday. Being leftovers. I'll have leftovers. I know you won't have leftovers, but I'll have leftovers. It's an open sandwich with like one slice of bread. I won't have leftovers. Yeah. Is that like all our yeah, food? Like a, I'm not kidding. Yeah. At our house, we never have leftovers. Really? We literally eat everything. Like, Did your dad make pancakes? Do what? Did your dad make pancakes? He does on the all right. Uh, so my family always did Thanksgiving where it wasn't like Thanksgiving dinner. It was always lunch. And then for mm. dinner, we would do the leftover turkey and you'd make BLTs with the turkey. So I'd say that. That's probably. I like that. Uh, I would have to go with like like homemade cornbread. Okay. Like, That's a good my, answer. My mom can make some great cornbread. Oh. And, <laughs> Wait, what? He got the picture of the brand. I like that. Probably. Yeah. Uh, okay, give, we're gonna go outside perspective. Patrick, since you brainstormed all these ideas, give us your one, two, and three that have not been taken. That have not been taken. Oh, shit. Is that mic on? We good? The mic rolling, Ballard? Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> um, I'm a bit of a cook myself, so I'm trying to think of what I've done. I recently got on the where'd it go? Um, green bean casserole train. It's good. Cheesy, like some onion yes. crisps on top. Makes it a little crunchy. I'm going to say out of the things that have not been taken, that's tier one. Um, I'm going to kind of go half-ass on tier two with what you did, but just like open face roast, or not roast beef, open face turkey sandwich, mashed potatoes, gravy on top, two. Tier three, I, I would have taken cream corn, but that's been taken, so I'm going to go... 
Roasted carrots. That's a okay. great choice. That, I, I'm Some surprised like that. nobody took that one with like honey on it and like brown sugar. Like that's new. That's new to me. I don't, I don't think I've ever had. It's it's really? Really? It's yeah, it but here's here's the question of this whole discussion. When you get your plate for Thanksgiving dinner, do you make sure everything stays separate, or is it okay if it just gets all together? I, I can't. Ooh. Within reason, yeah. 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 I think within reason. Like, yeah. yeah, like, like I'm not gonna. Top. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you get the corn and the mashed potatoes, are you, are you mixing it together? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bread can oh. touch anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like turkey vegetables kind of have to like See, stay in their own area. I'm not like, like gonna like freak out if my food touches, yeah, but no. like <laughs> it it really doesn't bother me that it touches or whatever. But like it doesn't matter. See, my thing is if my plate if my foods are not touching, that means my plate is not full enough. Like I want it to where everything's touching because I'm just some lineman mentality, and I really respect it. Absolutely, I'm thinking, what come on now? <laughs> our my favorite thing all of all time. Speaking of food touching, is for our <laughs> no listen this, for our pregame meal. John Fitzpatrick, we'd sit down. I mean, Friday evening and Saturday, we would sit at the table, especially Saturday, and I mean it was constant every week. He'd get his plate, he'd go watermelon and grapes. And they get pasta on top of the watermelon grapes with oh. marinara sauce and eat all of it. Oh, <laughs> no. The marinara sauce is all over the fruit. He's just chopping it down. Dude, yeah, JT, that, JT Daniels would absolutely someone, dog him for I it. I lived with the kid for three yeah. years. Fitz. He loved him. That one of my best friends. JT Human Daniels. garbage disposal when it comes to eating The food. kid eats everything. He can it's crazy. Eat, he, can, he doesn't get full. He can eat whatever he wants. Big Chipotle guy. Oh, my gosh. The number of Shout out Fitz. Uber Eats burritos that were – he also can't eat when the lights are off. That's a f- <laughs> funny little thing. Are you serious? Yeah. And he's he like, stays pretty thin, too. Oh, dude, he yeah, is he's, he's, he's lean. Yeah. Six, seven, yeah. Six, seven, my bad. For the dirty birds, yeah, dude, he'll eat just do you want that one inside here? Chocolate. There's different. So there's different flavors. I know. Did we get the purest one in there? Purest. The black. The there's least calories. Here you go. Oops, sorry. I got a little, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's okay. A little pre-action on you right there. Are we done with our team? Oh, you got it on my head. Yeah, yeah, we did it all. Yeah, yeah that'll fly. Put that one back in there. Have you have you ever had um, pepper jelly? I have. It's really pepper good. jelly. It's yes. really good. Yeah. One of the. Uh, it's a big what? Thanksgiving thing. For yeah. Me. Pepper jelly, like with black eyed peas. They're really good. It's really good. You've never had pepper jelly? It's like a huge. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a big southern thing, right? Thank you, sir. Sure. Right, Goody? Yeah. It's a big. Yeah, like yeah, my too big. grandmother used Could to I make it herself. That in during this yeah. episode? Do you like dribble a little? You flick your oh, that's, that's, where that's where it went? went? Okay, I just wonder where it went. <laughs> right. Wait, is your gravy for Thanksgiving Bob, like that one don't fit thick you. gravy? Yeah, but is it thick or is it like runny? You do? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what would thick. you say? White or brown gravy? Thick. Uh, it must be brown. Uh, I say brown. Brown. I don't do gravy. Joe is a big white gravy with biscuits. Oh, really? Disgusting. Oh, Sausage in there now. Like, what? How's it it's one of the yeah. most disgusting things. Are you serious? I was saying, yeah. We okay. Joe is like, that's huge really good. for him. Like, actually if you really tried good. it, I mean, it's, uh, no, I'm not <laughs> pretty much that. a pro. It looks like a baby threw up on biscuits. <laughs> oh, that might be one of the hottest takes I've ever seen in my entire life. I also don't like biscuits. What are you saying? I also don't like, like biscuits. It's not a hot take because it's kind of true, but it tastes phenomenal. It tastes phenomenal. He doesn't like gravy? Yeah, biscuits are great. I don't like gravy. I'm not a big fan of gravy either. Are you all brown gravy or white gravy? White gravy. Well, well, it depends. Depends. <laughs> did I not say that? Like it that depends on the. You did? Yes. Yeah, that's how like, it started. The, I mean, for biscuits and gravy, you gotta go white gravy with sausage. Dude, I made biscuits and gravy the other night with sausage gravy and did sausage with venison meat. Oh. Was it unreal? That oh my gosh, really that sounds good. really good. Sounds really, really good. We'll probably have sausage and biscuits or gravy and biscuits tomorrow. Yeah, I'll put gravy on those mashed potatoes. Mm hmm. Yeah, no gravy. Brown gravy. It's gotta okay. be brown. It's gotta be brown. <laughs> That's brown. Pod doesn't like gravy. Is it is it the texture for you? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of taste. Wasn't either, Jake really. a big texture guy? <laughs> Probably. And Jake. Yeah, yeah, sure. he, the way he described it, though, he was like kind of a three-year-old. All, was, all you'd eat was cheese pizza and french fries. And the kids and like 2% body fat. And crackers. chicken fingers. Salt and crackers and rolls. GQ. It was literally Dairy Queen every yeah. Thursday night. Genetics, genetics, like, his, like, just it's crazy. Yeah, free. The kid eats great athlete. Literally, and Anything. looks like so fit. It's yeah. unbelievable. Is he eating good now? Now that he's made. No, he eats not. like shit. 
<laughs> and the crazy thing is, is he doesn't even stretch. The MF for his freaking punting bombs. <laughs> I don't understand it. God, just did this. No, he doesn't stretch at all. Yeah, 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 like he went to some like cold like like and like like basically mess up his hamstrings because he didn't stretch. But the kid just hits bombs. Can you please? That was like the only time he got. All right. Yeah. Pause. What is this side show we have going on here? Yeah, I'm just saying. No, no, I just like keep it for you. Can I say it? Yeah, go for it. He said, this is what we deal every day, deal with every day. He said, he doesn't stretch and he's still good. I don't know what was so funny. It's just the way he said it. It wasn't that funny. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> now that I just said it, it's really not that funny. <laughs> but it was funny when you said it. But it is true. Like a lot of times the guys that do what we do, that like do like take care of the body the worst or like just don't do anything are the best the players. Best, yeah, it's crazy. really, it really sucks. crazy. It's so crazy. What's another good example of that? I can't. Anthony Edwards eats Bojangles and he said it on, like, in an interview. It was it Popeyes? Popeyes. And, like, oh. Roman Anthony Towns came after him for it and he's like, we can't be. I saw that. All the time. Like, he's got to learn how to take care of his body. Here's, here's a good one. Coaches say all the time, you can't just be a guy that turns it on and turns it off. Jalen Carter is the Definition. absolute opposite of that. Definition of when that, turning that it on. That kid can just be his, like just getting through practice and be average, like just be good, whatever. Uh, and then when he flips his switch, it's like what did you say? In the, uh, he, the other day, he's still like the best power. one on the field, even when he's not trying. It's like he has. A, it's like he has a power up I, every play. Mm-hmm. Just, it's like a video game. He's, you, a, he's a power up character, but every single play. If you get him pissed off his practice, over with. <laughs> Like, I'd, over I'd, with I talked to him one time he came off the field and it was like after his sack like he bullied like two guys into a sack and he's like yeah they said something I just got mad and I was like alright so let's just be mad every play <laughs> and he was just like the kid right. is a he's so good freak. man yeah, he is. So he's good. really good at football and this is coming from the guy oh, the he's a good night. punter too idiot, idiot he brothers. punted in high school good punter we he actually put, tried to get him to it? punt as a backup He. I don't think he, there was a position he didn't play in high school <laughs> Like, I'm being completely honest. How sad is this? You ready for this? We both were 88, and he <laughs> plays defense, and that 88 on defense has more catches and touchdowns than I do, and I play offense. <laughs> I feel like this gets brought up once an episode. <laughs> well, I got te- after he scored a touchdown last year, I got like 10 text messages like, hey, congrats on touchdown. And I was like, can you, like, work? Yeah, that was like when Jordan numbers. Davis yeah, scored a uh, touchdown definitely. last year, and everyone thought like they announced it as Jared Zirkel. Yeah. They, they said I had a tackle last year. <laughs> at least you don't have to put a, another jersey on. Yeah, at least you don't have to put forty four yeah. on. Like Zion. Yeah. Dude, seeing Dom run, or Arian run down the field, dude, just the big <laughs> <thing. laughs> they <laughs> really got to figure that out. <laughs> it's absolutely there's definitely a, a smaller jersey that they can wear. Blasky's getting called an NPC on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get that one. Non playable character. Like, yeah. he doesn't have a last name. Gotcha. And everybody, like, when the like, video game's painted the sideline, there's just that character on the sideline that has no name on the yeah. Yeah. Everyone was like, he's got to be at least 35 years old. Nobody's got a tribal tattoo. <laughs> <It's not laughs> <ever long. laughs> oh, bless. And everybody was like, nah, this is Drew Sheehan. They probably just didn't put the number on the back of his jersey because he's a bench tight end or whatever. And everybody's like, no, nah, I know it's Drew. He doesn't have a tattoo. <laughs> They're like arguing in the comments about who it is. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, well, what? (laughs) (laughs) Speak. No, speak. All right, boys. Well, tonight was awesome. Appreciate you guys for being here and coming on. Yeah, specialist. Thank you. Appreciate it. Should we break it down on high bombs? No, you'll break it down on. Uh, we do. It's not so fast. All right, there's a twist. Pod, you got it. No, you got it. (laughs) Let's hear this. I'll, Should we just uh, explain I'll say it? It's not a big deal. We'll, 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 we'll know, but we need you guys to know what we're going to say. Right? Okay, so explain it. We'll so, like, we, we'll go like this, and we'll say high bombs on three, one or two, whichever way it is. And then we'll say one, two, three, and then everyone goes hot moms. Or Noah's, or Noah's mom. mom. Or Henry's mom. <laughs> or whoever's mom. Jack's mom. <laughs> right. Right. So, it's it's high bombs on three. On two. One, it, one, it doesn't one. matter. On two, on two. And then it's one, two, hot moms. Yeah. And so it instead of high bombs and top moms, because we thought it was funny. Okay. Jay put on, Jay, and then it, trans- well, Jay and then it transformed. The high bombs and we were like, nah, screw and that. And it sounds so similar to like high bombs that when you say it loud and hot like. Moms. Didn't Dom like, people think we say like, hot dogs? What'd you yeah. say? And like, Dom hot dogs. Dom. Hot dogs. <laughs> Dom. I gotta respect that. Uh, <laughs> give it to us. All right, high bombs on two. One, two. Hot uh, bombs. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly perfect. Yeah.
Alright, well, that's how it is. Oh. Good job.